Spirit Lead. And today I have the Amrut Single Malt. And I think I already have this one at the distillery. Yes, I've been to India in, I think it was 2017. And yeah, it's a nice distillery. It's uh, very much in the heart of a very, very big city. And I think I've visited there in May or something like that. And it was really, really, really hot. So yes, the whole country of India is a pretty hot country, but also it's quite a humid country. So it's not a dry heat, but also a pretty humid heat there. And yeah, nevertheless, the Umbrot single malt is pretty good. The heat in that country, that high temperature, they, even, they, they do have like the concrete cellars and it's pretty damp down there and cooler, but still a lot warmer than it is, let's say in Scotland. And that means it's maturing much, much faster more additive maturation, less subtractive maturation, subtractive maturation, it just, that just needs time. Uh, and therefore these whiskies usually don't carry an age statement. If you have an Indian whiskey, you don't usually have an age statement. If you'd have a 12 year old Indian whiskey, that would be really, 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 really oaky. That would be just so much oak flavor in there. You just couldn't really enjoy that. And yeah, so a little bit about background about how it is aged and Amrut. Amrut is, it says here on the back, um, the word Amrut derives its origins from the historic language of Sanskrit and means the elixir of life. Staying true to our corporate ethos, our beloved founders named our distillery Amrut Distillery. And yeah, elixir of life, there is a bit of a, uh, uh, yeah, um, mythology. There's a lot of Indian mythology going on and a lot of different Indian mythology because India is not quite that of a united country as you might think from outside because there are a lot of states and a lot of regionality and you don't really get that in the news anywhere but uh, localities really differ from each other. Uh, nonetheless, and this is the myth mythology of like ancient gods and demons and uh, they actually uh, mixed the mountains and the oceans and a golden drop uh, sprang out and that was <coughs> the whiskey the elixir of life Amrut. so that's why they called themselves Amrut. it's not chill filtered <laughs> and i've just cut my nails and oh come on oh, i've done it but yeah, with, with just cut nails, it's really difficult to, to open a, a bottle of whiskey. And here we have a little seal below the actual cap. So there is a, a QR code on it and a lot, of, a lot of numbers on it. And yeah, so you can really track down which one is which. And probably uh, India has a lot of cheap whiskey cheap whiskey. The most sold whiskey is from India and it's a really cheap one. And the Amrut is probably also pretty well known in India as like a really good stuff. And oh, let's, let's keep it outside. And they were probably, this is probably a measurement against fraud as they really need to do that. Indian whiskey is not really well defined. So you can add sugarcane juice to an Indian whiskey, like as in for the distillation, for the, for the fermentation, and you can still call it whiskey. So when you have an Indian whiskey, usually it's zero years old, a lot of uh, coloring in there. And then you just feel that it's kind of a mixture of rum and whiskey and raw spirit vodka. And yeah, this is not just Indian whiskey. This is Indian single malt whiskey. And that means 100% malted barley, done really well. You can watch my uh, distillery video and you will see that they have their processes down to make a great whiskey. And that's why you actually have to pay 35 euros in Germany to get a bottle of this. And that's because there's quality behind that. 
Hmm. So it's a, I think that's their entry mold. It's just the Umbro single mold. Bourbon cask maturation, you immediately realize that when you, when you put your nose in and it's a wonderful bourbon cask maturate, matured whiskey. Strangely enough, I don't think that they use fresh casks. I think they use bourbon casks and uh, it has a very well defined vanilla character. Yeah, and even a little bit of an oak note, a little bit spicy, just a little bit fresh fruity, but the dominant character is vanilla and then caramel and a bit of a um, yeah, oak note, but smells like an American oak. It's not at all uh, any anything bitter in there at all. Mm. Mm. Mm, 46% ABV, quite aggressive in, at the beginning. So would expect a little bit mm, less intensity. Mm, and also, again, very nice bourbon character. But what you, you see to a difference to, let's say, uh, a Scotch purely matured first little bourbon character, which would be closest to that is, that you're missing a little bit of that um, maturity. Very well uh, matured as an added character. The character that you've added is very, very well, but it doesn't feel mature. It feels like a, a nice, young, well matured whiskey. Mm. Mm. I have had some older Indian single malt before here. And um, there are a few out there who have age statement. I've had the honor to try one, one seven year old and it was very, very oaky. So I, I guess this one feels like three years, four years. And yes, that's pretty much when you want to have a pleasant, not overly oaky whiskey, that's pretty much the top what you can expect from a climate like uh, at the Amru distillery in Bangalore. Was it Bangalore? Bangladesh? No, Bangalore. Mm. And but it's it's really nice. So if you if you like your, your whiskey, you don't you're not it, it's not like it has that metallic use, maybe a little bit, but uh, there can be also a little bit challenging in there. And uh, intriguing. And if you like your single mold a little bit younger, then uh, this is the perfect whiskey for you because it just has such a nice flavor profile that you get out of the whiskey. And yeah, so write me down in the comments. Do you like the international whiskeys? Have you ever tried them like an Indian single mold whiskey? I think there are now two out there, third one to come. Have you ever tried one of these? Do you want to try one of these? or say, yeah, I'm fine with Scotland. Just write it down in the comments below. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.